Now, a lot of people know about the vitamin C story in that a Scottish doctor named James Lind, Dr. James Lind, cured uh, uh, British sailors of this condition, scurvy, by figuring out that they were lacking in citrus fruits some something and something in the citrus fruits was a cure for scurvy we later just figured out that that was vitamin c but a part of our history that we a lot of people are unfamiliar with and actually i was unfamiliar with as well my husband told me the story because my husband is from quebec but um when Jack Cartier, one of the first explorers to Canada, when him and his crew came to Canada uh, on, I think, their third voyage, a lot of his crew developed scurvy in that long, harsh Quebec winter where, again, fruits and vegetables weren't very available. He found out, him and his crew found out, that the local Iroquois tribe had a cure for scurvy and... I don't know, asked, it's hard to say how it actually happened, but, you know, the the Iroquois tribe gave him, I don't know, forcefully or, or voluntarily, but gave him this cure. And it actually is believed to have been a concoction of boiled winter leaves and the bark of something called the, the Anenda tree, which is also known as the tree of life. Modern science has shown us that this Anenda tree and this actual mixture in general was really high in vitamin C and actually high in the amino acids arginine and proline, both of which are needed for collagen synthesis and to prevent scurvy. Now, I really wish this story ended well, but like a lot of our history with Indigenous people, it didn't end well. And what happened is that Jacques Cartier, after his crew was, was cured, he was going back to France and he actually kidnapped the Iroquois chief, Danakana, and some of his, his people and took them to France to like brag about all the riches that were found in Canada. And he had promised Danakana that he would return him to Canada, you know, after this trip. Unfortunately, Jack Cartier did not complete his promise and him and his crew uh, never returned, were never returned back to Canada and actually died uh, there in France. So, so again, the story shows that traditional indigenous knowledge and how wise it was, but it also highlights some of this negative relationship that was established for, from centuries ago between settlers to Canada and the indigenous population and how much they were taken advantage of. So now is a good time to, to learn more about these things and to right some of the wrongs of the past and learn lessons and move forward, you know, in community with, with everyone. <laughs>